tales from Pester Carl's Toy Box, where Pester Carl and his toys come to life to bring us important truths from the Word of God. Today on Pester Carl's Toy Box, I take you to the laboratory of Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. Hello there, boys and girls, and welcome to Tales from Pester Carl's Toy Box. Today I have been studying a very important book. I have been studying the Bible. The Bible is God's word. The Bible tells us all kinds of things about God and what he expects. And I have learned from reading the Bible that God hates sin. That's right, boys and girls. God hates sin. Do you know what sin is? Sin is when you do something bad. That's right. And I have learned that God does not like sin. And God cannot let sin into heaven. Therefore, anyone who sinned cannot go to heaven unless something is done about their sin problem. That's why I have invented the Sin Eliminator. If you'll walk with me over here to my laboratory, you will see that I have my trusty assistant, Beaker. How are you doing there, Beaker? <coughs> well, thank you, Beaker. Thank you for helping out today in our experiment. Boys and girls, the Sin Eliminator will purge all of Beaker's sins from him so that he can go to heaven. Oh, uh, Mr. Hobbs, I need you. I'm sorry, but you... Kermit, I'm a professional. Let me do my job here. Uh, okay. As I was trying to say, we are going to purge Beaker's sins from him. Beaker, <coughs> have you ever told a lie? <coughs> Does not matter if it was a little lie. All lies are bad. Have you ever cheated on a test at school? <coughs> Doesn't matter if you can't spell pneumonia ultra microscopic sulcovacanokinesis. It is wrong to cheat. And Beaker, have you ever crossed the sidewalk? without looking both ways. Mm. Oh, that is very, very bad. You definitely need to have your sins forgiven. Okay, will my trusty other assistant, the rabbit, go ahead and turn on the sin eliminator and we will begin to purge Beaker's sins from him. Doing! Here we go. Okay, boys and girls, as you can see, mm. the sin eliminator is now purging Beaker's sins from him. Mm. And since Beaker was such a bad sinner, crossing the street without looking both ways, we're going to have to turn it up full power, rabbit! Ding! Oh! 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 Here we go, boys and girls, as you can see, Beaker's sins behind me are being purged. Oh, oh no, this is not good. Um, Beaker, uh, are you okay, Beaker? Beaker, this is really bad. Your sins have all not been purged. You've only been half purged. Oh, this is terrible. I don't think Beaker's going to get to go to heaven. Ah, ah, Dr. Bunsen, you This is terrible. Ah, are you okay there, Beaker? Mm. Dr. Bunsen, you, you, you cannot purge someone's sins in a machine or any other way. The only way you can get to heaven is, is if... Oh, st 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 ah. You seem so upset you can't even talk straight. I'm trying to say that someone has already taken care of your punishment for your sin. You don't need to take it out on Beaker or anybody else. I don't understand. Ah. Someone has already died for you. I don't understand. Who would die for me? Maybe my mommy would die for me. No, 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 not your mommy. Oh, he my brother. He owes me a favor. No, 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 no. Not your brother, not your mother, not your... Hang on a second. Jesus, you're wanted on the set. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I wonder who that is. Hello there, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. Oh, 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 oh hello there. Oh, who are you? I am Jesus, God's son. How you doing there, Beaker? Mm. Hang on there, I'll heal you in a second. Mm. You see, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, you do not need to pay for your sins yourself, because I've already paid them for you. Well, I don't understand. Uh, uh, when did you do that? Well, I came to Earth and I died on the cross in your place so that you wouldn't have to. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. You died for me? That's right. But, but you're alive. That's because I rose again. Oh, oh, oh. So you rose again, and because you rose again, I don't have to die for my sin? That's right. All you have to do is admit that you're a sinner. That's easy. I sin all the time. And believe that I came and died for you on the cross, and ask, and then commit your life to God, and your sins are forgiven, and you'll get to go to heaven someday. Oh, dear Jesus, I'm so sorry that I've sinned. Please forgive me and come into my heart my life. I want to live for you. Arise. You are forgiven. Oh, I'm so excited, boys and girls. I don't have to pay for my sin. Jesus paid for it for me. Oh, this is so wonderful. I gotta go tell all my friends. Oh! <laughs> Beaker. Mm. Rise. Mm. Beaker, I know that you have sinned also, but I also know that you are sorry. 
very well then. Today you will be with me in paradise. <coughs> well, okay, not today, but soon. <coughs> you are healed. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. I appreciate you making this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, clearing this all up for us. That's all right. Uh, do you need a lift back? No, that's all right. I'll ascend. So you see, boys and girls, uh, it's very important that you read the Bible, uh, but the whole Bible, it's true that God hates sin and can't let sin into heaven, but it also tells us in the Bible that God came and sent his son Jesus to die on the cross in our place so that we don't have to. So I hope that you've also accepted Jesus as your Savior and not the action figure version, but the real Jesus. Well, this is Kermit signing off from Tales of Pastor Carl's Toy Box. Until next time, doodle-doo. Ah, it's a disaster. <laughs>